Hello, welcome to Tool Time with Tara. <clears throat> I am Tara. In case you, um, in case you haven't met me in person or online, um, I've got the fan going already, which is interesting. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the sound. Hi, Deb. Good to have you here tonight. I've got a busy, busy night for you, Lynn. Hi, Jacqueline from Texas. Um, so let's see. Let's just jump right in. I know we've just, every, everyone's just now uh, joining. Let me turn off this fan until I get hot here. Blowing me all over the place. Um, goodness. It's good to see everyone. Oh, hey, Trish. Good to see you. Um, let me see. Let's share these slides here. Okay, lots to talk about tonight. All right, so I do have my in the feed drawing tonight. Oh, <laughs> well, today is one of those days we wish we had a little bit cooler weather here in uh, the Daytona Beach area. It was balmy today. Um, there is an in the feed drawing tonight, and all you have to do to enter is just like and comment, and the little uh, magic bots on the back side will um, make sure you're entered into the drawing. Let me uh, make sure that that's going, by the way. Little clickety-click around here. Okay, it's working. All right. Oh my goodness, Vicki, every time, every Tuesday, there's a catastrophe in California. I am so sorry. That must have been terrifying. And hey, Nancy, um, goodness, Vicki, we don't have um, embellishments for that. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, all right, so... If you've said hi, you're already entered. If you haven't, if you're just watching, you'll want to comment below. Tell us, hey, where you're from so that you are entered. Thanks for the share, Ricky. So a couple quick announcements. Sizzle and summer crop. Um, I've got two crops going on at the BFW in Port Orange this summer. So this is July 28th and 29th. Registration is open for the sizzle and summer crop. Um, there's going to be some class components along with that. So when you register, you'll be asked border card or page. And so, um, and there'll be opportunities for you, um, you know, to invite a friend to those as well. Um, as we get closer, you'll have details about that. <clears throat> Scrapapalooza is also going on this summer, August 18th and 19th. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so again, registrations have started it. Um, calling it a two-day festival of scrappy fun. Uh, same thing. You'll be asked about card, border, or page. And so, if you do one of those things, you could do one for one and one for the other. All right. So this is really important. I just kind of panicked um, because, of course, I've got to get. Most of you, I just direct shipped uh, your your all the supplies that you need. Um, although we did just have someone register today, thank you, Jacqueline. And so I'll be sending hers off. And then if you're if you're getting a card kit, um, those may not that is until the 18th. So you may get that separately. Um, those of you that are on subscription, you don't need to do anything unless you want to participate in all of the National Scrap of Day Fun. So those of you that are on subscription, if you want to participate in all of the National Scrap of Day things, what are those things, Tara? Well, I'm giving away over $250 in prizes. There'll be challenges. Um, we'll have a going, going, gone gazebo with the stuff that's no longer available on the Creative Memories website. Um, I do uh, as like a live uh, auction. The price doesn't increase. It's just whoever um, says they want it first gets it, that kind of thing. So if you want to participate in all of the National Scrap of Day Fun and you're uh, on my card subscription, then you can just pay the registration for the National Scrap of Day event. 
There's also a digital um, option, those of you that are digital scrapbookers, and then uh, real paper options if you're interested in the paper. And that is kind of what I panicked about because um, Project Recipe is next Tuesday. Usually it's the first Tuesday of the month, but this month it's the second Tuesday so that I could get everything in um, with National Scrapbook Day. So you will need that. And these are the cards. Um, these are, so this is the April card kit and you'll notice the lemon theme. So um, it goes with our theme for National Scrapbook Day. Oh, a gang's all here. Hi, Lori. Hi, Katie. So um, registration is almost full for the gray May. And I've got my Cannonballs for Cane um, a shirt on today. I was sporting around town because there's also a golf tournament next, um, not this coming Saturday, but the Saturday after. So if you know anyone in town in Port Orange or Daytona or Ormond or New Smyrna that play golf, um, tell them that they should uh, register and so they can support Cannonballs for Cane. Um, so like we will be doing at Go Gray May. And that is filling up. Like I said, it's almost full. All right. April, our other um, nonprofit that we support here at Daytona Area Scrapbooking is Simon's Angels. And if you participate ever in my open house, then you know that we um, always do something for Simon's Angels at my open house. So April is Donate Life Month, and Simon's Angels always does their big event, their big fundraising event in April. And so this year it's on April 29th. And um, as a sponsor for that event, um, I have two tickets to give away. Um, so I these are the everyone that for my open house, yes, I saved the tickets because I knew I was going to do this, but I can't believe. I haven't done back. <laughs> if you donated to that at my open house, then um, your name is in this bucket. And if you're local and you can attend, um, I would love to give you a ticket to attend the fundraiser. So I'm going to draw two names. I have two tickets to give away for that. And then I'll reach out if they're not on. And then if they um, are unable to attend, then I will see if someone else can. Okay, so the first name is Carol Hemberger. And I don't think she's on, but um, I will see her this week. So I will ask her. And whoops, Carol again. Let me pick another name. Yes, you have multiple tickets in here. The universe wants Carol to bring a friend. That's I picked her name three times in a row. I'm not going to pick again. I'm going to tell Carol she has two tickets and she can ask a friend um, or bring her husband. Or And if she can't make it, then I will pick another name. So congratulations, Carol. I don't think you're on, but um, you just won a tickets to Diamonds, Denim, and Peace on April 29th. All right. So thanks to all of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. And you can do the little bell and it'll tell you when I go live. I think everyone on here tonight is watching via Facebook. But the good thing is, especially like what I'm showing tonight, because it's easier to go back and find videos on on YouTube than it is on Facebook, you know, because you have to go through all of the feed and all of the pictures and all the things that I post for new product and that kind of stuff. And since YouTube is just videos, you can pretty easily find what you're looking for on there. And I do group them into playlists. So like my card classes are in one, Techie Tuesday are in a playlist. Um, so it's easier to find things. And as a reminder, there will be an in the feed drawing tonight so you do have to be present to win. And I will be giving away $10 in uh, CM credits. Okay, so that is for that. But I have a bunch of stuff. I'm not ready to show you what you came for yet because there's some crazy 
stuff going on at CM right now. Okay, so here, this is with new stuff launched on Monday, right? It's only Tuesday. Okay. And in case you haven't heard, I was about to post it and then uh, Creative Memories did a little pivot. So um, see how it says the trail punch will ship in summer 2023. So that happened this morning. Creative Memories sold out of the punch in less than 24 hours, that trail punch. And it is adorable. And I see one on South Peninsula and Daytona, like somebody made one of those, like, you know, Milan, this many miles, you know, Daytona, this many miles. I don't know why Milan jumped in my head, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so what they've decided to do, and this is great, in the past when Creative Memories has sold out of something, like they sold out of the tractor two weeks ago, um, and I don't know if they're just ordering like less, trying to control inventory better. Um, so just make a mental note of that as you get excited about things that come out. But I'm really excited about the way they're handling it. So in the past, in this morning, when I woke up, they said, oh, we're going to take it out of the bundle and we're going to adjust the price. Then they, they changed their mind and they said, no, we're going to keep selling it. Um, just like it says on the website for the discounted price, but the sign, the little um, trail sign punch will ship later in the summer. And I think that's great because um, there's so many people that I think want it and then it's gone. And then when it comes out like four months later, they forget that they even wanted it. So now you can purchase it, know that it's taken care of. It's kind of a surprise. Kind of like when you order something on Amazon and then it gets delivered and you forget what you ordered. One of those things. Um, and so they are going to allow that bundle to be ordered. Um, I have no idea how I ended up on the album cover. Okay. So really cute. Um, really cute uh, setup camp collection is what it's called. And so super cute um, camper order punch. And so you can see if you just want to buy the, the trail sign punch individually, you can do that till the end of the month. And then they're going to place another order for exactly what's needed. So instead of it coming back and then guessing how many people are sad that it's sold out and how many people want it now they're going to order the exact amount so i th i think it's a it's a brilliant um idea um also we've got graduation um items that just came out new dot tip silver and gold pen and then many of you were super excited about the totally tonal uh, buffet and what's cool about those is they the circles and squares match up with our new circle and square punch. Um, so another reason to have one of those. Now see this, okay, these mini albums. I will be doing a mini album class like, um, like I've done with the paid class and um, the card classes. And, but what I love is right here, this custom paper album. Do you see the price is the same? Now you don't get the little bonus tape chips, but you can make your own paper albums now and it's the same price, $10. Uh, so that is the next Tech Tuesday. So watch your inbox for that. And then what we're talking about tonight, this envelope and bow creator, that's what I'm going to be playing with tonight on Tool Time with Tara. And that came out last fall, but it sold out so quick and they didn't do the whole order thing. Um, so it just came back out and I quick grabbed a few because there were some at my open house that got to play with it and they said that they wanted it. I ordered a couple extra. So that is that. And before, um, I go into the, uh, envelope and bow creator, I just want to show you um, like a little sneak peek. These are some of the things that we're going to be playing with tonight. Okay. Now it's time. Now to get down. Okay. 
Jen and Debbie. All right. It's like I forgot how to work. And it's only been a week. This is a little crooked. I went the wrong way. Okay. We can get this out of the way. All right. So here is the, um, this is the main star. This is what we're going to be playing with tonight. Um, well, hey, Cindy. Good to see you on here. Hope everyone in your family is okay. Um, if you own it, you're going to want to bookmark this, uh, save this video so that you can go back and remind yourself how to use it. If you don't own it, you might be interested to purchase it. Um, and the reason I have this out here is this is my favorite trimmer ever. Let me see if I can go up a little higher. Okay. Um, if you're, I've never had to replace the blade on my trimmer. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Come on, come on, focus. Oh, that's good, Cindy. All right, I cannot get this to focus on my little strip. It'll do it on other things. Anyway, if you have this, then you know that this little strip can get chewed up and that's when your paper starts to fray. What some people don't realize is there are four cutting surfaces on this little strip. And if ever you feel like you're not getting a good cut, you need to switch that. So I just switched mine. So I have a brand new strip in here and, um, and I want, needed to do that tonight. So I've never changed my blade in this trimmer. I mean, I've swapped out the blade because as you know, one of the awesome things about this blade are that you can store different types of blades underneath. Um, but uh, this one needed to be changed and I just wanted to show you, they are numbered. I just threw it in here any old way. So I was actually cutting on number two, but if you want to cut it, um, oh, I guess I was on. If you want to go in order, then um, you can you can line it up using these little arrows on the side with cutting part one, two, and then three and four on the back side. Hopefully, I didn't just confuse everyone, but it is an awesome feature of this uh, trimmer. And now I will just throw that away. Okay, I'm not going to need the trimmer right away because one of the things I showed you on that page that we flew by pretty quick were these um, envelope paper packs. So these are already um, pre-cut for certain size envelopes. So like this is craft dots five by seven. So this is, is already pre-cut to be a five by seven envelope, an envelope for a five by seven card. And this one is done for four by six and this one for a slim line, three and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so those are the card sizes. All right, so I'm gonna start with making one of these. So let's start with the five by seven. So I'm gonna take out the sheet and I'm just gonna also show you how to, um, um, figure out what size paper you need. So this is kind of the, the um, cheating way, if you will, <laughs> because I'm just using this pre-cut one. But on the front of this, and I'm a little pixelated, so let me wait till I come back. You know what? Let me make sure my phone is off, which it's not. All right, maybe I make everyone else in the house get off. Hmm. This is becoming a problem. Am I out related for you guys?
It's going to be really hard for you to see what's going on if I'm this pixelated. Let's see if I can direct connect. Thank you. I'm trying to remedy. Okay, I think that's a little better. You're probably not going to be able to read these little dots, but I want to show you what's on it. So there's three columns, and uh, and in the three columns there are three uh, columns. <laughs> so the first one here and here and here are all are all card sizes. So the first one says two by three and a half. Now, two by three and a half is the size of a business card. And then there's two and a half by three, and it goes all the way to six and a half by eight, by six by eight and a half. That's the largest envelope you can make. That's the card size, okay? And then it'll tell you what size paper. So it's six by eight and a half, an 11 and a half inch square. So the first column is the card size. The second column is the paper size. And by paper size, when it says five for the little gift card, that is a square. These are all squares. That's why all of those little packs I just showed you were squares. So to make a five by seven card, we need to find it. And it's way over here, five by seven. And it says it's a nine and five eighths paper size. So that's what this is. You can check it if you want, but it came from CM, pre-cut for you, and that's what it is, nine and five eighths, and, and it's a square. And then the third column is the punch guide. Now this is what um, can throw you um, because sometimes they're in eighths and the little punch guide is just um, in quarter and half inch. So you have to know that the line in between are eighths. So for a five by seven card, and that's a nine and five base square, we want a, I can't read it, four and one eighth is what the punch guide is. So over here, we're gonna go to four and one eighth. So two lines over is a quarter. So we are gonna put the edge of our paper to the four and one eighth. Now, for that, we have to pull out our little wings, wing flaps down, and then we put the edge like this. So it's not going to go like this. It goes to the side, and we go to four and an eighth. And once you do one, and those of you that were at my open house, you might be able to testify in the comments, but it is, it is very it is very easy once you do the one. All right, so there's a little groove here and here, and that's where this is gonna rest. So this little, you use this tool to, um, to go down and across, okay? Then you're gonna rotate it all the way around to the opposite side. So you're gonna, rotate twice. So we were here and now we're going to go one, two, because we just need four lines and you'll start to kind of reveal itself what's happening in just a second. So we're going to go up and down again, those two. Now it's hard to see in this light. It might be easier to see like this, but now do you see I have the outline and that's the five by seven. Okay, so this tool is a little bit of magic, right? <laughs> because when you first do it, you don't know like what's going on, but like a lot of our tools, like little frame punches too, you kind of just have to trust the process. Now, the next part, you see where the lines came together, right here, there's, now we're gonna move up to the section and there's these little feet See these little feet here? They are going to give, they're going to line up. And so they're going to like hug 
hug the lines you made. And I suggest it really doesn't matter what side you do this on. So whichever one you can see the lines better. So let me see if I can find the right angle. It's impossible. You're going to want to put it so that the little legs are hugging these lines. Okay. And then you just punch. So this is what you end up with. And you're going to do that all the way around. There were four intersections where these lines came together, and we're just going to hug the lines. And you can do this, you know, with cardstock or printed paper. Okay, Cindy, I do have, I do have an extra. Okay, so. Here is what we have. You can put this to the side. And now you're just going to fold in your flaps. And what's great is you can, you know, many of us have A2 envelopes. That's a normal, like, standard card size. But maybe you don't have a 5 by 7 And so you just fold in all the flaps. And we've, we've scored all those edges with our with our little tool. All right, and then now we just have to assemble. There is one other little part to this, and this is a corner rounder, and that's the top part of this. And so if you wanna give those two little edges, you could do them all if you want. You could do these too, but these ones kind of get covered, so it's unnecessary. But if you just are unsure of which ones to do, you could do them all. Or you could just do the, um, the top flap and the bottom flap. And then we're just going to add our adhesive. And then close up this bottom part. And then now we've got that. Now you can flip it inside um, or you can add adhesive to the outside and, and do it like that to stick it in place. Now, here is a card I made um, just before I got on for Easter. So I just did a, a card stock to make a five by seven card. And now I have an envelope that I can mail it off to someone. And it's that easy. So how did I make this card? Well, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, I just used the Keep the Faith Variety Mac Pack um, Easter's this weekend. So I had an open one of these packs and I actually made a few cards just using the mat pack. So this is just a mat on white card stock. You can't get any easier than that. This is three of the mats, one of the mats. Um, yes, uh, it can be mail printed side out. Sure. Mm -hmm. As long as, you know, you have a label where you can see the address. Yep. That would be fun. That would really set, set it apart. So this is another card I made using the, um, keep the faith map pack. And then here's a slim line and good thing we're making slim line. I'm going to make a slim line, um, envelope next. So this is just using two of the mat from this pack. And um, if you want to send someone uh, some encouragement, you can do that. Now, when I went online to make sure, because these have been um, the Keep the Faith paper and the Keep the Faith variety mat pack have been on last chance. And so before I showed it, because I wanted to make sure um, that they are still available, um, I, I was pleasantly surprised. I must have missed this in an email. But now until May 2nd, the Keep the Faith paper pack, laser cut embellishments, tone on tone paper, and the cross punch are um, discounted. They're last chance or what, and they're, or they're discounted while supplies last, um, but until, until May 2nd. So if, if, if that's, um, Maybe you didn't, uh, maybe you missed it the first go around um, and you're interested in that. 
then that is available right now and it's on discount. So you can't, you can't beat that. That's for sure. And some of us are going through a God moments um, book study right now. And if you're doing a paper scrapbook with it, of course, um, these will be uh, great things to have. All right, so now, just so that you can see it done again, I'm gonna do the slim line. Um, I'm gonna make the slim line envelope. <laughs> what is this thing called? All right, so slim line envelope. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one. And so the slim line, the card is three and a half by eight and a half. So we need to pick up our tool and we need to find three and a half by eight and a half. And it's in this middle section and the paper is nine and three quarters squared, nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters. And we are going to line that up to the three and one eighth. Okay, let's prepare for landing. Put out our flaps. Grab our little tool. And what did I say? Three and one eighth. So nice that it's printed right there. So three and then one line. And, oops. If it's printed paper like this, you don't want to go too hard because you will go right through the paper. But after you do it once, so we're going to go one, two, and then three and one eighth, one, one eighth, one eighth. Um, after you um, make one. So then you see the outline of the card like magically appear. See how that happened? <laughs> um, and then you're like, okay, I see what's happening. Now we're going to give our, um, the give the lines a little hug. We're going to hug. Hug four times. That's so we get the, um, the little bend. We'll put our tool back. And the, the flaps in. All right. And then this one, I think I will do the print on the inside. And I've lost track of where my score line is. Let's get, get that scored. And then this one. This one looks like a little long. So what we can do is fold it like this and then kind of fold it back on itself. And then we can do the same thing for this flap. Since doing it with a little hole punch is only going to take off a little bit, you're going to want to square, square that up a little bit. Wherever you, wherever you want it, however far down you want it. And then we will just add our tape and we'll put some tape on the back of here so that stays closed and there it is and now i've got an envelope for my slim line card how adorable right do we love it super easy really so we just did two envelopes and I made cards using scrap, using things that I had around. Now, the other thing this makes is a bow and um, the directions for that. And I will say everything I just told you, the directions are down here. But some people are visual learners. They want to see someone else do it. Some, some people are auditory learners. They need to, to hear someone read the directions for them. 
Some people are kinesthetic learners, so they actually just need to fumble through it. That's kind of how I am. Um, so basically, I read these directions. I didn't read the directions, but the directions are printed right on the tool. So you don't have to pull me up on YouTube every time you want to use it. Um, and then the same thing with the bow. Now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the bows. And um, let's see. How about I make a bow? There's okay, there's an extra small, a small, a medium, a large, an extra large, and an extra, extra large. Yes. <laughs> so true, Trish. So true. Okay, so um, we'll make a large bow because we are um, so you can see this bow. I mean, extra small is not that small, but all right. So I'm going to grab some paper here. This is from Tropic Time. Oh, where did I go? Okay, so for um, a large bow, the paper width is one and a quarter. Right? Right, Nancy? All right, so one and a quarter is the paper width. And then all of your little pieces are going to be um, made using this one strip. So the thickness of the strip um, determines. Um, sorry, I'm reading. Let me do a medium. So one and a quarter. Make sure that it's straight there. The internet goes crazy again. All right, so then paper A, which is right here, is going to be seven inches. That's what the number is. This part is going to be four, and then just a little quarter inch for the last one, and that's C. So they're pictured right here, and it tells you, you know, what to do with them. All right, so the first one is seven. So I need to flip this out and cut to seven. So I need a seven inch piece and then a four inch piece. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my quarter inch piece first because um, I want to, um, I don't want to deal with a tiny little uh, piece of paper at the end. Okay, and then now four. You see what I'm saying? I would have had to deal with trying to get a quarter inch off of that. All right, so here are my three pieces. Let me flip them over. I've already lost the, oh, there it is. Somehow attached itself to me. All right, so for the long piece, what you're gonna do is the knot punch. And so that needs to go in the middle. So I find it's easy just to hold it like loosely and then line it up. And so, and there's a line right in the center of this and that's where you're gonna punch. And then you're gonna flip it around and do it the other way. Okay, so there's that. And then ends, you're going to notch. And so you're gonna put the edge, there's a little line right here in the middle and you're gonna line up that edge, um, the edge of the paper and it's gonna do like this, except you can't see it, there we go. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. We're going to do that on the other side. 
So all the all the everything you need is really right here, and then the trimmer for for all of these things. Um, your your little embossing tool, your your the instructions, everything you need. Now um, for B, you're gonna do um, you're gonna do the same thing. Um, for you're just going to use the notch punch so so this one goes right in the middle sorry to question my sanity did you see it that's what the silence was i was like wait i, I was thinking about not trusting the process and i've made this um, uh, and then we need to go in the middle. So you do the same thing for both of them. Well, except for the ed the, ed the ends are different. Is this so it's not exactly the same thing. All right. So these are my pieces, and then here's my little my little baby quarter inch. And now it's time to make. Now it's time to make the bow. So this is what you're gonna sit the bow on. And these guys fold over onto each other. And then this goes down like this. Now you can also cut this bottom part apart and then it all gets wrapped together with this little band. All right, so let me put it together for you now. I'm just gonna put some tape right here in the middle, over, overlap. Super easy. This goes like that. You can kind of puff up your little, your bows. And then the little band goes right around here. And so for that, I'm just gonna do tape across the bottom. And there's a little bow. How cute. So, so easy. And so what I was saying was you could also, I didn't even bring scissors over here. You could also, um, tilt these on, um, just fold it on an angle if you wanted it to look more like that. So they can go straight out or you can um, fold them and tilt them down. So there's, that's, that's the bow. And all the directions and everything you need are right part of the tool. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you buried in my pile. Oh, so I told you the very first, um, the very first line up here is two by three and a half, and that is for um, a gift card. And so here is um, a little gift card holder that I made for a Starbucks gift card. And it, they all get made the same way. So that's the um, that's a little Starbucks gift card. And then I thought as my little parting shot here, I would make a little holder for this tea bag because all you have to do is this is two and a half by three. And so that's actually the next, the next item down is two and a half by three. So I can, why don't I just use this? So the, since I did the other ones using the little tweeter packs from Creative Memories, I wanted to take you through the full process here. So two and a half by three is five and one eighth square. So I'm gonna take my paper, go five and one eighth. And then five and one eighth again. All right, so I have my piece 
And obviously out of a 12 by 12, you can get several of those out. So um, like a, same with the gift card, that's just a five inch square. So you could do several gift card holders um, out of one piece of paper. Okay, now what do we do next? Um, we are going to two and three eighths. So we need to position our flaps. We need to get our little tool. And then I already forgot what I said. So two and three eighths. So two and a quarter, two and three eighths. So it's before the half because four eighths would be a half. Um, and it, you know, you do have to use your uh, noggin just for that part. So you make the two and then turn twice and then two and three eighths. And we go again. All right, there it is. Now, after you do that, and you can see again, you can see the lines, the outline, it starts to like reveal itself, right? There, it's gonna look so cute. Some peppermint tea. I think I got this tea. I don't know. It might, I might have gotten that tea in the Netherlands. Um, and that I think I'll do this side in. Oh, what did I do? I forgot to give my lines a hug. So you got to give them a hug. See, I started to fold and I knew something was not right. Okay. All right. Now, hey, I just looked up and saw something. All right. Don't forget to comment if you're just if you're hanging out and watching. That's how you get entered into um, the drawing for CM credits. So, um, in fact, since if those if you're hop, hopped on, <laughs> okay, we'll let that go for a second just so that everyone can get caught up. Just say hi, comment below so that you are entered. All right, so that is going to be super cute. Let's fold these in. Now, you have to decide how you want this, this little flap to look. Maybe you want it to be on the inside for this one. Yes, I think so. Oh, wonderful, Diane. <laughs> um, okay, and that, now I made a little tea, a little tea packet. All right, and then you can decorate the little tea, tea packet. You could send that to a friend a little, um, with a little well wish. Maybe your friend just needs um, a cup of tea. Oh, there. I dropped it on the floor. Oh, whoops. I know, isn't it? So I can do like, here comes the sun. I, these are all, the bow maker is great. The envelope and bow maker is great to have around um, when you, um, isn't that cute? Um, when you've got like extras of things, embellishments, mats, and you got to throw together, you know, something. So little, little tea, little peppermint tea, um, to send to someone or, um, a gift card holder. And then let's not forget the other ones that we made five by seven and 
um, a slim line. But all of these sizes you can get is these are all the sizes of envelopes that you can do. So I just did one, two, three, four different um, size envelopes and a bow. And it's so fast. Alrighty. Well, let's see. I think it's time to wrap it up. Let me take off this banner here. All right. And let me switch back to, to me. me. I don't think Carol ever ended up popping on, so I will see her. I'll text her and let her know. But in case you missed the beginning, um, I went back donated to Simon's Angels at my open house and gave away um, ticket, uh, tickets for their annual fundraiser. Um, what size is the tea bag envelope? Um, it's two, it's the second one down, two and a half by three. And so these are, these are, these would be so, so cute. And then if you're participating in my national scrapbook day, you might get one of these with a little lemon zinger <laughs> in your in your package. Um, just just saying. Um, so it's it's a really fun, versatile tool. It's one of those tools that's nice to have in your collection. And if you don't have one, like I said, I do. I did purchase some extra. I purchased for the people that said they were interested at my open house, but then. Um, so I'll follow up with them and see if they still are interested. And then I have some extras that you can still get them online. And then don't forget the Keep the Faith um, paper, embellishments, uh, map packs are all um, are on sale. Yes, Katie. Yep. Talking about Simon's Angels. So I gave away two tickets. Um, and so Carol Humberger, I put three names. Hers were all three. I don't know how that happened. So... Um, I had planned to give it to two, so I told Carol, so Carol can bring a friend. <laughs> um, so if you're on here and you want to go, then Carol doesn't even know that she won. Um, so you can let her out and tell her you want to go with her. But that's what I think you should do. Well, let's see who our lucky winner is tonight. What we. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me. Yeah, on to a quick recap, I will be um, doing Project Recipe next week, and that will be National Scrapbook Day. So that's the only way to get those instructions is to purchase the paper National Scrapbook Day uh, kit. And then um, all the National Scrapbook Day festivities uh, for me, if you're registered, will start next Tuesday night. But we will be here um, for, for everyone. Um, it's just not, and it's just only the people registered will have the pack. All right, let's see who our winner is tonight. Vicki, hang out with us for a little, take her mind off it until I just reminded her. And hopefully she is still on. Are you still on, Vicki? 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 <laughs> I know there's a delay. She did, she did have a... Vicki, are you there? Usually there's a little bit of delay and they pop in. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to draw again. All right. Let's see who there is.
It's going to be state prizes. Stacy's still on or did she dip? Stacy. Oh, Stacy. <laughs> oh, good. She's still on. Congratulations, Stacy. I will send you your $10 in CM credits right after the show. All right. Congratulations, everyone. And thanks again for hanging out with me um, tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night. And if you haven't signed up for National Scrapbook Day, you can go to DaytonaAreaScrapbooking.com. And you can check out all the options, and I will be shipping those out in the next two days. <laughs> I knew you did too, Lori. Um, oh, I know, Nancy. Now I feel so terrible. I'll just have to, have to send her um, ten dollars as well. I mean, she did have to go through an earthquake, and no one else on here went through an earthquake. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And until I see you all again, do scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.